from the airport. So here it is. So as I was walking, I heard the Lord say, look down, and I looked down. And I, I put these back down, but I looked down and I saw these two bucks. I looked down. I mean, I heard the Lord say, look down. And I looked down and I heard the Lord say, pick up these two rocks. And I picked them up. And this is unbelievable. I mean, you got to be kidding me. Two rocks out of all these rocks. <laughs> they were split. These, this rock was two separate rocks sitting on the ground in a riverbed with trillions of rocks. And I heard the Lord say, look down in my spirit. And then I saw these and I heard the Lord say, pick up those two rocks. I just burst into tears. I didn't know what else to do. How in the world? It's a rock that's, I'm going to put it exact, there we go. Look. That's insane. <laughs> Here we go. Got the LZ set up. There's a quick spin around. There's the wind blade right there. Uh, this is not the primary LZ. This is the spot. Once I'm over the top, um, we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> so there we go. And uh, it's Chinati Springs behind me. Little oasis on my little door post. When I walk in the door, it says 1937. Pretty amazing. All this super significant stuff. All right, this is the day. This is it. I watched the sunrise this morning. It's been, it's so supernatural. I just don't even have words, guys. I just don't. The people that came and helped me set up. Uh, okay, I'm going to pause it right there. So that was when the Lord God sent me to a place called Chinati. It means gateway. It was in the middle of the desert. And he proved, so I'm not going to go through the whole testimony. It's on YouTube. In the most supernatural way, he proved, this is what I want you to go do. And boy, did it turn out to be correct. So anyway, <clears throat> so here's what I want to share with you. Going to the desert to a little oasis like the Garden of Eden in the desert and finding two stones, two halves of the, I should have said, two halves of the same stone and putting them back together represent the end of the cycle. Because in the beginning, I'm going to show you the Kaaba the and the black stone that's in the Kaaba. They said it fell from heaven uh, into the garden with Adam and Eve. That's what the Islamic face says. So the, the black stone in the Kaaba fell from heaven and was there with Adam and Eve. And it was a representation of the first temple to worship God is what they said. Now, they have that stone embedded in the eastern corner of the Kaaba and people go in a circle, counterclockwise circle, and they try and touch or kiss it. Well, they built the whole outside. It's exactly a vagina. And they put the stone on the inside, and the it, the metal part is called the urn, and an urn is for people's ashes that have been burned, and they call it the urn for the stone at the kebab. So anyway, so imagine, <laughs> just imagine you're me, and you know the Lord sent you there to get two halves of the same rock and put them together to show all of society this is what it means to get converted back to God. Because in the beginning, a singularity came into a system and was split into two things. That's why when you stand in front of that urn, you know what? Let me let me turn to it real quick. When you stand in front of the urn at the Kaaba, at the Kaaba you'll see that it splits you into two different reflections. And then... Here, let me go right here. So right here, when you stand directly in front of this, you'll see your reflection in the circle, but part of, your, part of you will be over here to the right, part will be over here to the left, and then since this is concave, 
when you put your hand in or your head, it will invert you. But what's so fascinating, it's black, like going into outer darkness. Because when we come into the system, we are split into two different things. That's a vagina, guys. What does the Bible say? Neither shall you touch it, lest you die. And that's what they worship. A stone from heaven that fell into the garden with Adam and Eve. They're the originals, remember, Parthenogenesis. Oh, my God. Y'all understand the ramifications of what I'm showing you? Yeah. Okay, now, you stand in front of this thing. Watch. You stand in front of there, and there's a reflection of you on this side and on this side, and it makes a circle. And then as you put your head in, because it's convex, it inverts you. That's exactly what happens when our seed, our light, goes into a vagina. So... When a male penis ejaculates inside a vagina, the light goes in and the light is inverted and out comes another being, a shell that's attached to the pit but has the light trapped in it. Do you understand? Now it's a perfect system. Only the Lord God could have done it. Only the Lord God could have allowed both systems. That's why Islam prays with their head to the ground. That's why Allah means to rise. There all about taking the two and never letting the two get out because the two is their system. They turn two into one. But our Lord goes the opposite direction to take the 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 double you, the good and the bad you, and reconcile both to God through the cross and make you whole spiritually. Mm -hmm. It's the exact opposite. So... <laughs> It's like, oh my God. Uh -huh. Let me just read some, let me read a couple things to you. Okay, watch this. So I, uh, I encourage everyone to go read all about it, but I want to show you this part. The Kaaba has been associated with the fertility rites of Arabia. Some writers remark on the apparent similarity of the black stone and its frame to the external female, female genitalia. The, the Kaaba marked the location where the sacred world Think of God's angels intersected with the profane, the flesh. An embedded black stone was further symbol as an object, as a link between heaven and earth. And they say it's from the time and it's from the Garden of Eden. And I'm the guy that's been showing you all this stuff that we've been being hunted by an insect race since the Garden of Eden. And, that's, and that just happens to be exactly what this all pans out to be. Let me uh, change this. So, um, this is so mind boggling. I'm sure it's going to be profound anyway, but the LZ set up. I got little flags everywhere, little caution flag on the plants, wind directionals, um, the jump is approximately seven o'clock. Um, well, 7.15 to 7.30. I'll be at altitude and this is... This is my LZ right here, and uh, there it is, Psalm 46, 10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I'll be exalted in the earth. Amen. And I just don't know. I mean, I'm just doing what I've been told to do. So I'll do this one little video. Okay, here we go. So heading over to the plane. We're getting ready to go. Just quick check in. 360. <laughs> yeah. Woo. It's been fun. Let's do it again. <laughs> All right. There's a super cool. Look at that. What a cool Cessna. All right, guys. Uh, let me send this to Dave. Here's the video from the pilot. <laughs> So I'm doing a little post-jump documentary. I told everybody this building that I'm in, oddly enough, it has a star on it. Uh, the building was split in half. They put metal brackets on the corners, on all four corners, and they pulled it back together. And then they jacked it all up and they set it on a rock foundation so it, they could keep the building. 
oddly enough, this little like garden oasis in the middle of the desert, right here where I put my foot, right there, it says June 1937. 1937 means lust and desire, like the Garden of Eden. And it's a little Garden of Eden setting. It's like just exactly like a little Garden of Eden setting, setting in the middle of the desert. And it says 1937 on the doorpost or on the foot landing. And the building itself is made out of round river stones. The building was split in half. And the caretaker said they had to put corner brackets on, pick the whole thing up off the ground, and set it down on a rock foundation. Just stop and think about that. Do you know that that's impossible for someone to come up and offer me that information? Also, there was a large lizard that was about this big. It was huge. And it was just cruising around my cabin over and over. And I figured, well, it's its hunting territory because I've seen lizards are very territorial i've seen them before and um this this lizard obviously owned the cabin area and that's when the lord told me look up parthenogenesis and that was the exact lizard that was in that was in the uh, wikipedia for parthenogenesis a whiptail lizard what i'm doing right here is a little post jump documentary to document that the lord god sent me to the desert and I thought I was going to die. He said I was going to meet face to face. So I thought, well, to do that, you got to die. I didn't realize he's going to give me two halves of the same rock and put them face to face. Think about that. So anyway, now I understand that he's showing me that this is the resolution from the Garden of Eden. It's odd that I have artwork of myself and Lou uh, in the Garden of Eden. And the night I got saved, I walked down into an alley and there's a big lit up light church window that was Adam in the Garden of Eden and Christ ascending into heaven. All these things happened. This is so crazy. I'm sorry I didn't show you the picture. Yet. For those of y'all that know what I'm talking about, just in the this is just as much for my own brain, to be honest, guys. I'm going over this because I know that the Lord God whom I serve gave me the resolution of everything now. The corner of the Kaaba is a freaking vagina with a black stone that fell from heaven. Just stop and think about that. Stop and look what you're looking at. I'm in a place like the Garden of Eden, Chinati. It means gateway. And I'm putting together two houses of the same stone because I was willing to go to the desert and die because the Lord told me to. I'm just saying that's, you told me to go to the desert. You're going to jump into the desert. Just trust me. And I was like, well, you said meet face to face. I guess I got to die to do that. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. I'm just saying these are facts. Okay, watch. I'm just documenting it. Letter J. The, the hook of the J makes a W. So, to skydive into a place in the desert that's like a little oasis, like the Garden of Eden. And let me frame myself up right under those. I'm the Knights of Neek. <laughs> Neek! Neek! <laughs> okay, I don't know if anybody understands just how silly I was being there, but... Monty Python and the Holy Grail, there's the Knights of Neek. And I, I just saw those horns up there, and I looked up, and I saw them in the video, and so I thought it'd be funny. Just, I'm the Knights of Neek. The Lord actually told me to look up the scene of the Knights of Neek. And it says, we're the Knights of Neek. We are the holy, the protectors of the holy word. <laughs> Gotta look it up. Knights of Neek, Monty Python. We are the protectors of the holy word. I was like, wait. Okay, I lost my mind. <laughs> yeah, here we go. I didn't know that when I did this, so 100% no lion watch. Let me find myself up right into those. I'm the Knights of Neek. <laughs> Neek, Neek. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you know, for all this to manifest like this, considering all the other stuff that the Lord's had me do, is just absolutely phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And the spiritual representation of the whole thing is just staggering. It's it's not almost believable. With the Royal Enfield motorcycle, Royal Enfield, like we are the Royal Enfield. Yeah, I want to clear that up because <clears throat> way back then, the Lord told me he wanted me to buy this Royal Enfield. I didn't want it. I was like, Lord, 
I don't really want to ride motorcycles anymore. I've been a bike rider my whole life. I mean, since I was a little kid, I've ridden bikes, bikes, and lots and more bikes and bikes and bikes. And I was like, I don't want to be on a bike. There's too many crazies out there in the world now to hit you, and I just don't feel like getting hit. And um, the Lord told me, I want you to buy it and take it as a support vehicle to Chinati. So I was like, well, that makes sense. Maybe if I land in the desert or something and I set my bike way out in the desert as where my LZ is going to be, I could leave my bike, go back, jump wherever my bike is in the desert, and then drive back. That's not ending, what ended up happening. However, in my mind, I was like, okay, I can see that. So here we go. Forest like Zion, the royal infield. Everything else is out. Yeah, so think about that. The name of the motorcycle he had me get is called a royal infield. Like we're the royal infield, and we go out and we come back in. Because he purchases us. Royal infield, like we are the royal infield. Forest like Zion, the royal infield. Everything else is out. So if you read Revelation 22, and then, you know, they're permitted to enter into the city like the royal infield. There's a royal infield bike that's got a crown on it. It's a mirror reflection. There's 1937 right there on the ground, right there. Lust and desire. <laughs> uh... Like the flow, the commercial progressive uh, 1937 lessons are in a little situation like a little Gordon Green. It's just not even possible. It's so far beyond my brain. And then the two rocks that were separate, that were the same rock, split in half. And the Lord told me, put them back together. And then I came back to this room and I opened my Bible to Ephesians 2. He'll make one new man from the two possible the document i'm going to pick up the lz which is way beyond that big tree um but i, I want to document something i want y'all to look down for a sec look at all these look at, look at the rocks look at all these rocks this is nothing but rocks can you imagine out of all these rocks out of all of these rocks Picking, looking down and seeing two rocks that were black and here in the Lord say pick them up and picking them up and what you picked up was a rock that had been split in half the size of a 50 cent piece that's impossible but it happened how bizarre is this I'm here to pick up the LZ Okay, now, again, imagine you're me. Your building's been split in half, but it was cinched together, picked up off the ground, and set back down on a rock foundation. I'm the guy showing everybody what being on the rock is. Two halves of the same rock, and you put them together in your hole again. The Kaaba is the exact opposite of that. You stand in front of it. It splits you into two. You put your head in, in, in virtue, representing the female energy the vagina it's a dimension so here i am is a representation of restoring everything i'm out in the desert in a little garden of eden place called chinati it means the gateway and the lord has me skydive into that riverbed i thought i was going to die honestly i did not think i'd be i thought it was a one-way trip but i was okay with it um anyway long story short I get two hours of the same rock. My building is split in half, but picked up, put together, set back down on a rock foundation. I get two hours of the same rock. I put them together, and right here, I'm walking up to my LZ. I landed 20 yards short of that LZ before, um, I mean, on the jump. But I didn't, that was further away than my cabin, so there's no point to walk to the tarp and then walk back to the cabin. So I landed short. I gathered up my parachute, and uh, the... The riverbed was kind of soft, and I I just realized that it had rain because I was over off to the side a little bit, and I there's some water there, and I was like, oh, that's weird, and that's when everybody told me that entire that entire riverbed was rushing water. It the whole thing flashed floods, and they said we thought you were gonna drown or die when you landed. Now look at this. Look what was going on when I walked up. This is the next day. So I walk up the very next day. There's a clear running stream right here. Look at this. On the side that's clean, representing God's people. He cleanses his people. The other side represents the other half, the, the female entity over here. One half is completely clean. 
the other half is completely dirty. Look at that. And look, look at the dirt, how it's concentrated to the part of the one triangle. Like, look. Isn't that crazy? Look at the triangle on that half. Isn't that crazy? Look it's, at that. It's, you can see the triangle, it's all dirt. And then right down the middle, straight in the middle of the X is a line. And then the other half is clean. Now, don't forget, now the Lord had me before the jump, take the rock, put it in the dead center of that X and take a picture. And then he had me take a picture of myself standing in the dead center of the X. And my parachute is a V for vengeance. Probably no big deal. <laughs> it's insane. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Uh -huh. <sighs> Look. Straight down. That's insane. Right down the middle is where the water from from a rain, I guess, that happened. Now let me show you this. On this side that's all clean, the red triangle that's all clean, look. The stream is running now. Water is running. This water was not running. Past several days I've come down here, you'll see in the videos, there's no water running. I'll make streams in the desert. Water out of dry ground. Pools out of dry ground. Rivers out of dry ground. And it's running. It's literally running. It's moving. That's insane. I think this is absolutely insane. That half, that triangle's filthy dirty. The water came straight down the middle, literally in the very center of the X. But on this side where the red triangle's clean, this is where the stream is running now. Okay, so yeah, there's a bit of a mind whapper for you. Now let's go to the folder. Let's go to the folder now and just see how crazy things have gotten. Okay, guys, watch this. So we'll go here. And if you'll go down to uh, the very bottom, there's several, you can go down to the very bottom and there'll be a, it'll say next right here. On your, on your page, mine's different because I'm an administrator, but it'll say next down here at the bottom. That'll take you to the next page. Anyway, so there, let me just show you just how incredible this is. There is the rock right there, dead center, like dead center of the X. The Lord had me photograph it, put whole again. There's, I had it bound in a, he told me to bind it. I, I met this guy from a place called Black Rock. The guy had a company called BlackRock, and it was impossible just out of nowhere. A friend of mine said, hey, this is so-and-so. He's like, hey, I do jewelry. I do rocks and metal. And I'm like, wait. He goes, yeah, I do a lot of jewelry, rocks and metal. I'm like, the Lord told me to put a band around this rock. Can you do it? He goes, yeah, you got a silver dollar. So I gave him a silver, silver dollar, and he melted it down, and he made the bezel. <laughs> There it is. There's the silver one. There's the gold one. So that's another rock. So I had two different rocks that were split in half. I mean, how crazy is that? Look at this. The Royal Enfield. It's a mirror tank. Think about that. Do you know how crazy that is, you guys? See, look, Royal Enfield. It's got a crown on it. So this is proof of... Uh, you know, a predestination, but I want to show you this. Y'all remember how I told you about Adam and Eve and when Eve was taken out of Adam's side, it's like, it's like uh, it goes down in, in the opposite direction. So it means to bend or to curve. That's what it means when she, she was taken out of his rib. You know what it means to bend or to curve. Let me show you something. You see the cabal right here? Look what they, here's the corner where they kiss the vagina right here. Here's that, where they put their head into then urn, which is for dead people's ashes. They kiss a rock that they say is from the Garden of Eden. It's a stone and it's fragmented, broken into pieces. And they're saying that it was in the Garden of Eden and they kiss it. And then they put this, this, this walkway up right here. See it? See the walkway? They put that walkway up right there. Now watch this. Okay. The Kaaba is 43, 43 feet 
granite box. 43 feet means the bent arm, especially bent to receive a burden, to bend or to curve down. See it? To bend, to curve. Remember also, nut. Think about a slave that had a bar across their neck receiving a burden. Told you. I have. I told you. Now you know. Now you're looking right at it. The kaba is 43 feet to make you a slave. To bend your arm, make you a slave. To bend down, bow down, and worship what they do when they lean into the kaba to kiss it. They lean into the stone, representing our fall, them splitting our image. See, it represents them splitting an angel into two different things because you have a reflection on this side and a reflection on this side if you stand in front of it. And if you put your head in the middle of a convex uh, metal, like here it is. They, they, By the way, they have different ones. See right here, when you put your head in there, it inverts you. He's bowing down. That's a vagina, you guys. Now you know the truth. That's why they pray to their head with their head to the ground. Remember, Adam was put to sleep and then Eve was taken out of his side right here. Female comes out to curve, to bend, and goes the other direction. There you go. Right here at the corner. Watch. There you go. Right here to bend, to curve. That's why they put it up. Now you know. You know the song, I'm a man in a box? Okay. Let's see. What about... Let's see. Oh, here's a, I want you to read the title, Mecca Kaaba, the vagina bends the light. So right here in the corner is where that, that vagina is. Now imagine this. If your head goes in it, it turns your head upside down. But there's all, it. they made sure the inside was all just black because you'll be cast into outer darkness if you don't get converted. So when you go in, it inverts you. If you put your hand in a convex, um, mirror it in virtue if you put a seed of light like a sperm into a vagina same thing it inverts the light and then a body comes out and the body is attached to the pit because they started the host body system you see and so they always have a worm on everyone who's born they always have their connection that's why that uh interview with that guy john and uh, where he it's like 60 minutes, and they go, who are you? He goes, Elohim. They go, Elohim. He goes, yeah, we created you. You're our children. We made you in our image because we're made in the image of them. Their image is a host body that looks real whatever, prettier, or whatever you think about different host bodies, but it's attached to a worm. That's what Elohim is. There it is. Who can make straight that which Elohim is turned upside down? There it is. It's not arguable. And look, my God, look at the data. Look at the supernatural events the Lord's had me do in order to communicate to me, in order to hold me up as someone that is absolutely works for him. I mean, you couldn't even think this up. He told, He's the one that said, this is the parachute you're going to jump. Do you know what that says? That's a V with fangs, and it says there's the number four, V for vengeance. And then you turn it upside down, it's V for vengeance. Because he's saying that X energy, that vampiric system right here, is going to be judged now. And if you haven't taken the free gift of God out of it, then you're going to be judged with it. Y'all know who Ringo Starr is from the band The Beatles? Here's a thing he posted on uh, on X. It says, Ringo Starr, look how he spells his name, S-T-A-R-R, -R, spoonful of lights, peace and love, whatever. A spoonful representing eating them, and we're the lights and they invert us. Uh -huh, Ringo, you're so cool. You're a beetle. Wow. Whoop-dee-doo. Um, so now I can show you this stuff all day long. Uh, with that, I mean, just all day long. I've documented all of it. It's impossible. That is impossible to have a clear running stream on the side that's clean. It's impossible that after I found the rocks, he told me go back to your room and open the Bible. And I opened up to uh, Isaiah 25. And it says he will wipe away the tears from all, the faces of all his people. And you see that little bookmark right there? That was a bookmark that just ended up on the trip, and it's probably from 2003. And look what it says. For he himself is our peace, who has made both one. Look what's sitting on my Bible. 
two different halves of a black rock, and this was in my Bible, who has made both one, and has broken down the middle wall of separation, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, that is the law and commandments contained in ordinances, as to create in himself one new man from the two, thus making peace. Look at what's on my Bible. Look at what's sitting on my Bible while I'm reading this, going, what? Oh, reconcile both uh, to God in one body through the cross, destroying the enmity. And he came and he preached peace to you who are far off and those who are near. And through him, we both have access by one spirit to the Father. There it is. And look what he gave me. Look what he gave me. Look what he gave me. Look how what he's given me is the opposite of the Kabbalah. He showed me that the female energy was what was killing because they created a host body. See, twin female energy makes the human host body. It's the skin of the serpent, and you come into it as a light being, but you get inverted just like the corner of the Kaaba inverts you, and it's a vagina. Now you understand why our God, watch this, now you understand why our God is a fountain of light. Think of a penis ejaculating light. I mean, I'm sorry, but... Uh, you know, it's much bigger than that. It's in the heavens that there's a constant source of light, our God emanating from our God. But look at this. So think of like life emanating from one source. Just and think of it as an eye. Just okay, emanating from one source. Now imagine this goes through a body. This actually contained light within a host body. Like, and we have light in our semen. It's called a sperm. And then here is, imagine this is the female genitalia or another dimension where the light goes in. Okay, but here's the thing. This right here is attached to the host body, you understand? And the host body, if you don't get converted, then you are taken by that other system. And that, that's a dimensional thing. And there's locusts and their king is Satan. And that's it. And right now, what's going on is the, the bottomless pit is being opened. The bottomless pit, hell is rising right now. That's just like the little deviance commercial. You see it everywhere now. I can perceive and see it now. It's easy for me to see now. And so the Lord's given me all these examples. So look at this. This is female. Think of this as female energy dimension. Also, female uh, reproductive. It, you, you go into the system. Now watch this. Now let's go to the Kabbalah. Here we go. Uh, looking for an exact image. Hang on one second. Guys, I got to I gotta call it. We're having, I'm having like glitches. So before this whole thing goes south and I lose the whole video, I'm going to get this computer working. Did you, did y'all see what just got delivered? Do you understand about the Kabbalah? If you stand there, it represents splitting you in half. And then you go in, you touch it, you kiss it, it inverts you. They worship the God of the pit. That's why they have their heads to the ground. We worship our God in heaven and we pray to our God in heaven. And he takes the two yous and makes one new man from the two. They make two men from the one and in virtue. They're the ones that are going to take over the whole earth. That's what's going on now. And I, I have a whole lot more to show you, but this program's malfunctioning. So I love you in Christ.